on the western shore of Lake Nasser, behind the high dam, stands the Abu Simbel Temple, towering over the third pharaoh of the Egyptian family, the 19th King Ramses II, and was built in 1250 BC. The capacity and grandeur of all Egyptian temples. In all ages, the temple was built during the reign of Ramses II, to celebrate his victory in the Battle of Kadesh, and its construction continued for 20 years. The largest temple is dedicated to three gods, and the smaller temple is dedicated to the god Hathor, who represents Nefertari, the wife of King Ramses II. The most loving of his heart. The temple was forgotten until 1817. Thus, it will be 200 years after the discovery of the most important temple of all time, the Abu Simbel Temple. The phenomenon of the sun perpendicular to the temple of Abu Simbel, the phenomenon begins when the sun's rays enter from the front corridor of the temple of Ramses II for a distance of 200 meters, until it reaches a platform on which Ramses II is located. Next to it is a statue of the god Rahawa, and the god Amun, and the sun perpendicular to them, and next to them, the fourth statue is the god Ptah, but the sun does not come on it, because it is known to the ancients as the god of darkness. Twice a year, on October 21st, and on February 21st, the sun perpendicular to the temple of the statue of Ramses II occurs. These two days, especially because they are the two days in which he was born and who was crowned as king of the country. At the time of the construction of the high dam in 1960, the temple was threatened with flooding. International fundraising campaigns began to save the temple, and the Egyptian government, in cooperation with UNESCO, moved the temple at a cost of $40 million, to a place close to above the river level. This process is one of the most complex operations, and it was classified as one of the greatest works in archaeological engineering, in history, and the truth of those who said that Egypt is a country of wonders. Because even after moving the temple from its place, it is visible that the sun perpendicular to Ramses, the second will only happen with the change of days. The 22nd of October and the 22nd of February are great, Egypt, and every example in you has a greater and greater story. The phenomenon of the sun perpendicular to the face of King Ramses II, in his great temple in the city of Abu Simbel, and it is the unique astronomical phenomenon that millions around the world are waiting for to witness the miracle of the ancient Egyptians, in the embodiment of such astronomical calculations. 1. It is a unique astronomical phenomenon and its miracle is the determination of the ancient Egyptians for two days to perpendicular to the sun, on the face of King Ramses, although this requires a complete knowledge of the origins of astronomy and calculations, angles of deviation, in addition to the miracle in architecture, that the axis be straight, for a distance of more than 60 meters especially, that the temple is carved in the rock. 2. The phenomenon is repeated twice a year, which are February 22nd and October 22nd, and the phenomenon lasts for only 20 minutes. 3. The reason behind these two days is based on two narratives, first, it is that the ancient Egyptians designed the temple based on the movement of the astronomy to determine the start of the agricultural season and the harvest season, and secondly, it is that these two days coincide with the day of the birth of King Ramses II, and the day of his coronation on the throne. Four. The sun's rays crept after sunrise, behind the waters of Lake Nasser, to the temple of King Ramses II, and entered through the corridor located between four giant statues of the Egyptian pharaoh. The sun's rays extend for a distance of more than 60 meters until it reaches the Council of Ramses in the Holy of Holies. 5. The Holy of Holies inside the temple consists of a platform that includes the statue of King Ramses II, Seated next to him is the statue of the god Rahor, his sister, and the god Amun, and a fourth statue of the god Ptah. The sun does not cross the face of the statue of Ptah, which was considered by the ancients as the god of darkness. 6. The phenomenon of sun perpendicularity was discovered in the winter of 1874, when the British writer Amelia Edward and her accompanying team observed this phenomenon and recorded it in her book published in 1899 entitled A Thousand Miles Over the Nile. 7. The Abu Simbel Temple was subjected to drowning, following the construction of the high dam, 
as a result of the accumulation of water behind the high dam, forming Lake Nasser. The international campaign to save the antiquities of Abu Simbel and Nubia began between 1964 and 1968. 8. The budget for moving the temple, which was carried out through the international organization UNESCO in cooperation with the Egyptian government, cost about $40 million. 9. The temple was moved by dismantling parts and statues, the temple and reinstalling it, in its new location, at a height of 65 meters higher than the river level and it is considered one of the greatest works in archaeological engineering. 10. After moving the Temple of Abu Simbel, from its old location, which was carved inside the mountain, to its current location, this phenomenon became repeated on October 22nd and February 22nd.